describes different kings during the first Jewish Commonwealth who had different wars they need to wage, and some of the kings were better people and some of them were worse. And we find actually that well, there was this terrible king named Ahab who was just a terrible person, did terrible things, but he actually was pretty successful in his wars whenever there was a nation that was attacking the Jewish people. The Talmud explains that was because during this time, the Jewish people were in, very united. They really, everyone felt like they were part of it and they were in. And, you know, God, that's like one of the most important things to God is that everyone who came here shows that you really feel like you're part of the Jewish people. We just came out of the holiday of Sukkot. What we do on Sukkot is we take different species and put them together and they, uh, and the rabbis explain that each one of these species actually represents a different type of Jew. Because some of the species have a good smell, some have good taste, some have both. And in there we actually have the orava, which is the the uh, the willow that we bring in. And I don't know if anyone here has tried chewing in one of those, but the flavor isn't too great. And it also doesn't smell like anything more than maybe grass. It just doesn't smell very good, doesn't taste very good, and it's in there. And if you have three but not four, then it's, you know, you, you don't have the four species. And that represents the fact that every single Jewish person is extremely important to God to be in there as part of the group, as part of the Jewish people, as one unit. And some of us maybe feel like we're, you know, we, you know, we, we, we do appreciate the different virtues that we have. Some of us might feel like we're kind of almost like nothing, like, like that willow. And God said, it's extremely, the most important thing for me is that it's all one unit and everyone identifies with the Jewish people and trying to see what can you do, how can you help, you know, be it with the different uh, financial causes that are going on around now, which there's plenty of the reason why we're not, we don't have, we're not promoting any of them is because we feel like that's really something that's being taken care of. I'm sure if you're associated with any sort of Jewish organization, you've gotten at least one link in your email or on Facebook or by other social media, and, and they're all great and they're all important. We want to focus on the spiritual activism, being proactive spiritually, which is also extremely, extremely important. You know, at the uh, Seder table, we also discuss we have the different sons, and there's the son who is called the Wicked Son, but we're so happy to have him there. And you actually, if you follow the Haggadah, you'll see the only time where we really blow a fuse is when the Wicked Son uses the word, you guys. And we're like, we totally love you no matter what you've been doing and how you've been living your life. Just don't say you guys because we're one people, we're one, and that's the most important thing. So every one of us pitching in the way we can and just being here is, is extremely powerful and extremely